Hey, we just got notified that our um, boat has left from Hamburg, finally. So now we're extremely happy because the car was supposed to leave on, I think, the 18th of June. And now it leaves the 25th of June. So it's been in the port of Hamburg for a few days. Anyway. Hey, this is Next Meridian. We are Nick and Mathilde, and we left everything behind to travel the world with our Land Rover Defender, Albatross. Three years, seven continents, 88 countries, and just the road as a home. Two weeks ago, we left our Land Rover at the port of Hamburg. Since then, we've been hanging around France, waiting for news of it being shipped. We skipped a few days of video where we were at my grandmother's place for the wedding of my cousin. Uh, so we didn't film at all over there. And so fast forward three days later, we made it to the Ardèche region. Uh, it's a region in the southeast of France, um, next to the Rhone Valley. We'll put that on the map. And the Ardèche is known for its canyon. There's a beautiful canyon that you can canoe through. So with Nick, we took two days to go do the canoeing trip. We wanted to go with the old car of his cousin and Acadian that we love very much. And was the grandmother's, uh, Nicholas' grandmother's car. But um, it was not starting so well yesterday evening after a few tries. The battery was a bit dead. So we decided to go easy and his cousin gave us his Peugeot 406, 406 Peugeot uh, for these three days. the canyon um, we don't have camping equipment because everything is stored in our luggages so we are going to sleep in this camping but today we're going to do 22 kilometers or 24 I'm not too sure it's kind of the lower part and then um, we're going to get back to the camping sleep a night and then we'll do the 13 kilometers from here to here um, We made it to the river, so now it's 22 kilometers for today and we are alone, it's a Monday, usually this place is super crowded, but now we're absolutely alone.
you want to comment on the Don Juan? Well, it was actually pretty easy this year. It's always been a hard one to do. Usually we, there was always like a few boats falling. But this year it's easy because there's no water almost. Very nice behind. Yeah, you can hear the insects. They're super loud. Hey, can the water's you water's actually really warm. Sharing his sandwich with wasps. Two wasps. Two wasps. Aww. You see them? It's a wasp restaurant. Oh. Ah, look, it cut the piece. Cut the piece? Yeah, up, oh, it's gone. Just a quick update, um, today we're, we're waiting for the car to be shipped, it was supposed to be shipped on the 25th and so uh, now that it is the 27th today, which is a Monday uh, of June, 27th June and uh, I wrote to Ricardo from Overland Shippers or Shipping and um, I asked him if the car was uh, gonna be shipped today he says normally it's shipped today, so uh, fingers crossed, we're waiting, but anyways until we get a full confirmation that the car is on the boat and the boat has left then only will we book our flights and uh, and look for accommodation in Halifax so that we have an approximative date of when it arrives anyways keep you uh, updated we should get to know very soon how are you planning to move from here hey wait for me you did it you did it Typical French car from the 60s and 70s called the Deux Chevaux. Look at this cutie. After the Ardèche, we made it to Drôme Provençal. And there's one thing to know about the Drôme Provençal is the sound of it in summer. So, like, listen now. It's quite, yeah, silent. And listen now, it is so strong, it's even covering my voice. back from the uh, apricot producer place where we got this amazing apricots we tried them at the neighbors yesterday evening and they are so sweet and so tasty and huge What is on the menu? Tomato salad with uh, mozzarella, um, melon, saucisson, over there there's some pâté, hummus, french bread, and that's it, super light.
evening activity is Via Ferrata at the sunset on a rock called the Saint Julien in Ville Baroni, southern France. That is very well known for rock climbers. And a few years back, they set up some Via Ferrata that are super nice and that we've done many times, but we're always super happy to do them again. That's cool. Hey, we just got notified that our um, boat has left from Hamburg, finally, so now we're extremely happy because the car was supposed to leave on, I think, the 18th of June and now it leaves the 25th of June, so it's been in the port of Hamburg for a few days. Anyway, we got a message from uh, Overland Shipping saying, um, your car has been loaded and we just received the invoice from the carrier. He says the car should arrive around the 10th of July, um, so we booked our flights for the 9th of July. And now I'm just following on a website called, one second, it's called Marine Vessels. And you can see all of the follow-ups of the vehicle, of the uh, boat. And so it has left um, Hamburg. It is going to Antwerp and then it will go to Liverpool on the 28th. And then from there it will go to, uh, to Halifax. So we can follow in almost real time where the boat is. So yeah, we're excited. Let's see if it gets there on time. and if it comes there in one piece and without anything stolen, broken or yeah, whatnot. Now that Albo is on the boat, it's finally time for us to book our tickets and prepare the departure to Canada. Hopefully in the next episode, we'll travel to Canada together. So subscribe and like the video so that you don't miss anything. Have a good week. Now we're having dinner at our grandmother's place and they have this super cute thing. And look at this, they prepared everything. Oh man, nice to see them since we're not gonna see them probably for another year now. And this is the house in the countryside. <laughs>